We have support all around us. The intense search for escaped murderers Richard Matt and David Sweat was a relentless pursuit for New York State Police Major Chuck Guess. Relentless pursuit. Now the name of the book he wrote about those 23 days following the prison break when two killers were free in the thick woods of the Adirondacks. I think I provide some insider's insight uh, into the some of the inner workings of the investigation. The book tells the story of the major's career in the military, his rise through the state police ranks, and what he calls the last and greatest challenge of his career, the manhunt. These were unprecedented times. Um, none of us had faced this type of event before in New York State history. Having investigated over 2,200 leads by this point, we were incrementally expanding regionally and throughout the North Country. These were trying times. To hear guests read from his book, you get the feeling this was personal, and it was. Nine years earlier, he had been a young lieutenant, part of the SWAT team hunting for an inmate who escaped from a jail near Buffalo, Bucky Phillips. Phillips was on the run for five months in 2006. Before surrendering, Phillips shot three police officers, killing one. I worked diligently not to repeat any of the, uh, the mistakes that I saw, that I that I in my opinion, were mistakes of the past here in Dannemora. Guest says the pressure was on him to keep every law enforcement officer involved hyper-focused. If they took their eye off the ball even for a minute, that could be either the break that we miss to solve the case or it could put them in harm's way uh, and, and be more tragic yet. Major Guest says the support he received from Governor Cuomo was critical. And that walk through the prison the governor took well, Guest says that part of the crime scene had already been processed. He adds, if the governor had not seen for himself what happened behind those walls, nobody would have. Because we in the state police would never have released those two forensics people, never had released those photos. Photos of the cut walls in the back of the cells, the catwalks, even the pipes the killers slithered through to make their break. And as for the prison seamstress at the center of the escape, Joyce Mitchell, Guest says she is no scapegoat. I have no doubt that Joyce Mitchell was manipulated, uh, but part of manipulation is a certain willingness uh, on the part of the person being manipulated to go along with that. Guest has strong opinions and said, though Mitchell helped them get out, she is not to blame for Richard Matt's death in the woods. It was Richard Matt that be ultimately became so desperate that he was shooting at moving vehicles, hoping you know, my speculation is to commandeer one. And it was Richard Matt that pointed that shotgun at the Bortac team in the woods off Route 30. Uh, so Richard Matt is responsible for his death. David Sweat, captured alive, talked to investigators, but not to Major Chuck Guess. Guess decided to never look Sweat in the eye. But there's one thing the major, and now author, is most proud of. 1,800 law enforcement officers helped in the search. None of them, and not one neighbor was hurt in those 23 days when two murderers were running for the border and police went after them in a relentless pursuit.